is day five of Vlogmas and I'm here in Smith's Toy Superstore trying to sort out Father Christmas things. So yeah, wish me luck. What did she do? Chloe, look! Oh. Chloe! Oh, she's so cute! Okay, is that the one you want? Yeah. You're gonna ask Father Christmas for it? Yeah. Okay. Not the dog. I'll have okay. I'll have this one. It's cool. Want to do this? Mmm. I'll have to put it on my list. Is there any more of them? Um, yeah, there's um there's one more video. Is that one's named Tala, is it? Huh? That's Oh, Raquel. Is that R? Yeah, it's an R. <coughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute. That is Chelsea. Oh, that's Club Chelsea. You can okay. have that if you like. Can I? Oh, I'll put that on my list. Hmm? You want that one? Yeah, can I have the Moana coaster? Yeah, Mammy loves Moana, doesn't she? Video. Yes, I have it first. Have you got it? Yep. <laughs> Hi guys, so today is day 10 of Vlogmas and I haven't really uploaded anything in the last couple of days. I haven't been filming anything just because I had a bit of a situation. Um, so basically... One of my kids in school, um, his class, well, somebody in his class or something, we're not really giving out much information about it, but somebody in his class got COVID or tested positive for it. I was like, okay, that's fine. So here is basically the situation that unfolded and why I haven't been uploading. So the school sent out an email and they were like, come and collect them. And I was like, yep, yeah, that's grand. So as I was doing that, the principal was sitting outside, you know, I suppose making sure that everybody's there collecting their kids. And I said to her, I have another boy in the school as well. And I said to her, will I collect my eldest son now or will I wait? And she's like, no, wait. And I said, but what about Logan now? She's like, oh, as long as he's not on the premises, that's okay. And I was like, okay, fair enough, you know. So I went and I collected my eldest boy then from his class. And I had to wait outside the premises, like I'm on the public footpath. And the... The class were sent home, right, okay, fair enough, to quarantine or isolation or whatever they call it. Um, but I have no support network. That's my problem. I have nobody. I have a neighbour beside me and a neighbour across the road. They're elderly and one of them is a carer for a 98-year-old man. So I can't be exposing her, even though like I'm, I know Logan is totally fine. He has no symptoms. He's not anything. Um, but it's not worth the risk in case he's a carrier. So I said... 
I wasn't even going to ask her. Um, my neighbour this side of me, uh, she's elderly as well and again a vulnerable thing but they are my support network and they've been the ones who have been supporting me with anything, you know, if I need a babysitter or I need someone to mind the kids for a few minutes. They are and I have another neighbour neighbor across the road but her kids go to school the far side of town. So and with that, with the rest of the neighbours, I don't really know them and I don't really know them on a basis that I'd be comfortable enough leaving my kids to mind or anything like that. And when it comes to the other mammies in Jude's class, I'm like, I, I know ye, but I don't know you well enough to know ye, you know, personally. Like, you know, I just know them to say hello to or whatever. It's not like, oh, we're friends and we meet up for a coffee. Like I've one or two, I think, that I actually meet up for coffees every now and again. But again, they're the far side of town. That's where they live. So if they were coming my way, it's well out of their way. And they have got little ones to bring home too. So... I had previously said to the teeth, the principal, I was like, you know, as long as we're outside, like she said, as long as you're outside, like on the premises, it's fine. So I was like, okay. And she knows I have no support network because I don't even have anybody as a backup in case something happens in the school. It has to be just me. That's why I hate living here so much. It's like, it's just me. You know, my support network is like my kids, grandparents that live in this country are four hours away and that's driving. And that's like, bombing it driving I suppose it's I think it's like my driving probably about five and a half hours so it's literally like I'm, I just feel so isolated it's just not even funny but anyway um yeah so the principal said to me you know as long as he's outside that's fine so I did I left him outside I met Jude's best friend's mum and I said to her would you mind going and collecting him for me I'm not allowed in because I have Logan she was like yeah no problem so I didn't even think to ring ahead, like, I just, because I'd literally only been given, like, I think it was, like, two and a half hours notice. It wasn't even a thing in my head to ring and go, oh, you know, that that mother is going to pick him up for me. And the vice principal came out and Logan was standing beside me running around the pram because I had his sister, Saoirse, in the pram in front of me. And I was like, I didn't think anything of it. I was like, he's fine. You know, he's right beside me. Um, I got Jude. We went home. That was fine. A few hours later, I got a phone call from the the principal of the school, absolutely giving me such a bollocking. Like, I was like, I was, I'm literally livid about the bollocking she gave me. It was like, totally unnecessary. She knows I have no support network. She knows I have nobody to ask to, you know, to help me. Um, But she was like that, you know, apparently some parent, and this is the second time now some parent has told tales on me of things that I'm doing outside the school, not even anywhere near the school, not on school property. And I'm like, it's not even bad things. Do you know what I mean? One of my boys is um, autistic. So I have to do certain things to make sure he's okay, that his mental health is okay, that he's able to get the freedom he needs. Um, and his autism is based around, um, he likes a lot of freedom. He likes a lot of space. He's, he's somebody who does not like to be, you know, in an area for too long. So yeah. But I'll talk about that set that in a minute. So basically, yeah, she gave me an absolute wallop and telling me that I wasn't in control of my children, that you know they were running riot, and this is what this this other parent has told her apparently. And I'm like, what? Like I told her I was as far back. Yeah, she, the, whoever told her this as well even told her I was on the premises, and I'm like, I was as far back on the footpath that I could that was safe. I was like, who is telling you this? Like who is out there trying to? I don't know, like give me a bad name or something. I'm literally so confused. I just don't know anymore. And which has really made me distrust all the parents in both the classes because somebody is squealing on me somewhere or another. And I'm like, it's not like as if you're even coming to help me. You're literally just bitching behind my back and has no balls whatsoever to come and talk to me and say, why are you doing this? You know, or if you're so stuck, I'll help. Because I don't feel comfortable because some of them in the school can be quite uppity. And that's only my opinion. You know, these people could be absolutely so, so nice. You know, I just don't know anything about some of these people. And um, yeah, it's been really bloody stressful because I've been trying to find people to bring my, like his dad will bring him to school in the mornings, but it's collecting him. I, and your one was like, I, I told their dad and he rang the school and he gave out to the principal because I was literally just, I was in tears. I was like, I can't believe this woman has just done this. Like she's supposed to be, you know, a pillar of the community. Pillar of the community, she practically ostracised me. Um, And he had a go at her as well. And he asked her, what would a single mother do, you know, in this situation? And she was just like, oh, she's not a single mother, is she? But I was like, you know my situation and I practically am. He goes off in the morning. He doesn't come back till late at night. I don't see him half the time during the week. It's just me and the kids. So 
I know I'm not technically a single person, but I practically am because I do everything. And that's that's the bit that's really frustrating is that she doesn't even understand. Oh, I'm getting upset now. Ugh. Is that she doesn't even like, she doesn't care. She literally doesn't care. And that's the bit that's annoying because I thought I was sending him to a Catholic school, you know, where the thing is they care about people, but clearly she doesn't. No care, no fucks whatsoever given in this school, which I'm really think, thinking they're taking him out of it now because I'm like, that's not, that's not what, that's not what I want for my kids at all. I I grew up in a Catholic school. I grew up with pa parents who, who did this bullshit. Um, and I grew up with people who, like with people in my class who I literally speak to absolutely zero people out of that school because of the way they treated me. They treated me like absolute shit and I'm not having it done for a second time by these Catholics. <sighs> I swear to God, these religious schools are worse than any of them. Then I don't want the kids to be like, you know, I don't want the teachers, especially this one because she's Irish as well over here and she just has that kind of like, I, I, I literally don't know, like, and I guarantee you that if I see her again, she'll be like, oh, hi, hi, Miss Carrick, how are you? And all this fake bullshit. I'd be like, I want a fucking apology from you. Ugh. Sometimes I just hate people. I really do. <sighs> Anyhow, that's why I haven't been uploading in the past few days is because I've been actually just like... I've been nearly too afraid even to leave my house in case somebody sees me and somebody's going to report back to the school and I'm going to make life difficult for my kids in that school. And it's not a nice feeling, it's really not. But anyway, that's what it's like. And that's where I'm at. Um, yeah, like I know my kid has to isolate or whatever, but he's got tested and he's COVID free. He has his schooling at 9, 11 and 2.30, which is fine. But yeah. And I know a few other kids in his class who have got tested as well and they've came back negative. So, yeah, that's my last couple of days since my trip to Smith's. <laughs> but that's where I've been for the last while. There's my rant over. <laughs>